गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन आई एम अशिव पदा वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माई चैनल इंग्लिश विश शिव हेयर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द पोइ ऑफ स्टैंड आई लेवन फ्रॉम हॉर्नविल इट्स नेम इज लबर्नम ट्री इट इज रिटन बाय टैड हर्स लबर्न एंड टॉप इज अ ट्री विच इज कॉल्ड एज पॉइजनस ट्री इट्स लीव आर येलो इन कलर्स and which signifies the death and silence the laburnum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fall in the first stanza which is of three lines the poet is wanting to describe about the top means about the tree laburnum top is a tree so on the top most side of the tree who is looking silent quiet and still means no motion is there even in the afternoon of the september month which is the autumn season and its leaves is yellow in color and the sunlight is also yellow and it is brightening the leaves even then it is not moving and it is motionless a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fall means the leaves are also in color in yellow and all the leaves which are yellow and dried and fallen down on the floor or field here the poet is describing the yellow color which is signifying the death silence and the beauty here the sunlight the sun rays and also the leaves are showing they are both of yellow color this signifies is the silence death and the beauty till the goldfinch comes with a trinchling chirping a suddenness a startlement at a branch end then sleek as a result and alert and interrupt she enters the thickness and a machine starts up of chirpings and a tremor of wings and thrillings the whole tree trembles and thrills till the goldfinch comes goldfinch is is a bird which is having also the yellow wings it is the sweet small bird which comes and sit on the top of the branch of the tree the lemurnum tree and it is twitching chirping means it is having the sound of the word it is chirping it is having the sound and strangely it has come from anywhere and it moves there it sounds a startlement at a branch end startlement here feeling or showing sudden shock means when the bird comes there to sit on the branch then strangely at randomly the shock the movement of the branch was occurred then sleek as a result means he is moving as a lizard on the branch he is jumping he is moving he is scrolling like the lizard and is alert and abrupt abrupt is also rapid means continuously rapidly he is moving on the branch he is chirping he is making the sound and he is giving the alertness to the tree and she enters the thickness means in the starting she was on the topmost branch of the tree but gradually she enters on the tree and uh, abruptly he is coming in the thickness of the tree and there is also a machine starting up of chittering means chittering also the loud sound of the word and it is looking just like the machine means the movement by her and by her all her chickens all the movements were just like the machines that the machine is moving and the branches also was moving all the voice and the chirpings were there a tremor of wings and thrillings there was the tremor and of wings involving vibration of the wings means they were fluttering their wings they were moving they were slightly flying from one branch to another one and this movement was there on the branch of the tree so all the things were dignifying that in the starting of the poem the laburnum top was silent and still death but after coming the bird and her 
chickens there were the motions there were the happiness the movements were there and it is showing that the happy is now sorry the tree is now happy it is the engine of her family it is strokes is full then flutters out of a branch and showing her beard face identify marks it is the engine of the family means as the engine is there to give the instruction to all the boogies to follow her so here also the bird is also giving the instruction means as and wherever the bird is moving her chickens her sweet ones were moving after her and it is just like her family they were moving there she strokes it fulls stroke means to add fuel to the engine just like the mother sweet mother he is also filling the engine with the fuel means it is there to give the food to their young ones to give the food to fuel means fuel is here dignified that it is food and engine is just like the bird so as the mother is there to give the fuel to give the food to their young ones they are there they are full and they are happy and flutters out of a branch and showing her bird face identify marks bird stripy as the bird is moving here and there the bird the stripes means the sunlight is there and through the sunlight the wings is moving there and the shadow little bit shadow the stripes are occurring on the face on the beak of the little bird and it is showing that it is the marks there it is the ident identification of the marks of the bird's wings so he is moving there he is giving the food to her empty young ones then with airy dedicated whistle chirping whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and the lavender subsides to empty then with airy airy means strange weird and strange and at randomly there was the strange sound of the whistle which was whispering just like the whispering just like the small voice and she launches away towards the infinite means as she is there to listen the little sound she moves from there and she go through the infinite world and the laburnum subsides to empty again subsides diminishes again the laburnum top is in silence and dead it means that the bird is giving the birth and the happiness to the dumb silent and motionless tree after going the bird again the lavender top is silent and in the mouth of death it shows there is there are two differences that first the poet is giving the silence and death to the tree but after some time he is also giving the life to that tree so here are the significances of the top, of the lavender top tree which shows that some person or maybe the sad person may alive and may live the life with happiness so here are the descriptions about the literary devices first is alliteration repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words means whenever the consonant sound will be at the starting of the words more than two or three words there will be alliteration so here september sunlight ss is used tree trembles tt are there so here is alliteration next is simile comparison between two things using like or as means whenever the words which will be compared with another things and like as such as words will be there then there will be simile the figure of a speech so here sleek as a lizard means here is the comparison of lizard with the bird metaphor an indirect comparison between two things means whenever the comparison will be there in simile also comparison is there but there will not be any such type of words which shows the comparison here will be indirect hidden comparison so here are 
she enters the thickness and a machine starts up here machine is there means machine is compared with the bird it is the engine of a family again here engine is there which is compared with the bird showing her bird face identity mask here also it is showing that here is metaphor here is bird face means the stripes face are there which is compared with the bird also next is personification the attribution of personal nature characteristics to non human beings non human beings means the characteristics which are compared which are shown as a non human beings as it is strokes a tremor of beings trembles and thrills means the human person only trembles shakes thrills but here the branches are there who is moving thrilling and trembles next is transport epithet where the adverb is transferred to another noun if the adverb will be there and it will be compared in the form of identity then there will be transferred epithet means the noun is transferred the verb is adverb is transferred in the form of noun so here in the line her bird face identity marks here identity is noun but it is used as the adverb so here is a transferred epithet the figure of speech so thank you once more please be stay with me for forever